Well, hello everyone. I am sitting in the high school parking lot awaiting a geometry textbook. <laughs> Apparently, Kaylee only got access to the online one. For whatever reason, either she can't log into it or I have no idea or she doesn't want to. But I have to come and get the physical book. And anyway, that's how I'm starting my morning. The kids are home on their virtual calls. I'm trying to get back before Ashley has to start working on her homework. And then get on to another call. But I have some fun news. It's more for myself. <laughs> you guys get to come on the journey. So if you want to find out what that is, stick around. And after I get this whole high school thing situated this morning. I'll be right back with you and I'll tell you what I get to go and do by myself for the rest of the weekend. <laughs> I'm very excited and nervous. So stick around and I'll tell you what we're gonna do. If you're new and you have not subscribed, I don't know why, support me and my family. Literally support me and my family by subscribing and then click that little bell to get all of the notifications. So it'll tell you when I post a video, which hopefully is every day. There might be a day or two that I miss because I can't edit for whatever reason. So stick around and then I'll be right back with you. Two people are very happy. I got cream cheese, strawberry flavored, and some bagels. You and Abby are very happy already. I just got home. You're off your call. You have some homework to do, but I'm gonna let you get your bagel, and then we'll sit down and work on your homework. Yeah. And we need to show you where you can answer some of your teacher's questions on your homework, on the ones that you've already submitted. Sometimes your teacher has a follow-up question. Huh? Yeah, meaning we need to answer some more questions on your homework. So get the toaster out and make yourself a bagel and then come find me, okay? All right, I'm home and I'm sitting down here in my front room because the air conditioner in my study, in that room over there, is too loud for me to be able to talk to you. So I'm gonna tell you where I'm going first and then what I'm gonna do as I'm preparing today. Ashley's looking at my snacks. Oh, family side just for yourself. <laughs> it's for the way there and the way back. And then I got my Pringles. I don't know what it is with Pringles, but if I get on an airplane, yeah, I need Pringles. Exactly. It's like a craving, right? We normally always get Pringles. Like if Chelsea normally gets Pringles every time, but normally I don't yeah. really get Pringles. But did you need Pringles this time? Yeah. No, because you're not going. <laughs> All right, go get your bagel then. Go get your bagel. We need it's to do your homework. All right, so I am going down to Utah to see my family. Not actually to see my family. That is a lie. <laughs> I can't see my family when I go down there. So let me explain really quick. I'm going down there for two different reasons. The first one is to fix this hair, like I've been talking about. Um, that's not the sole purpose. I've been waiting for either cheap plane tickets to go down to fix my hair and to get it highlighted, but also I've been waiting because I just didn't feel like it was safe to go down there. I just see too many I just see too many things and I just don't think some of it is safe. Some areas are not as safe as others in terms of this whole COVID situation. And so I've been holding off for a while and now I have the opportunity to go down for the second reason, uh, which is that my best friend is having a baby shower and normally at this stage in our life, you know, this is her fourth or fifth baby or whatever, I probably wouldn't make the effort to go down for a baby shower just because been there, done that. The difference with this is without giving a whole ton of private details for her from her situation, but she has a 17 year old son and then she has a 12 year old daughter um, that she adopted. So her old son she had right after they got married, um, within a couple years of them getting married and, and has not been able to get pregnant since she's had a lot of miscarriages, a lot of problems. They eventually adopted the daughter that they have. Then they did foster care for many, many years. Almost adopted two of the kids that they fostered. That didn't end up working out. But in all that 17 years, she never got pregnant on her own until COVID hit. <laughs> 
she actually thought she had COVID earlier this year and turns out she's pregnant for the first time in 17 years and is able to maintain the pregnancy. She's due next month and I just got the invite a week and a half ago, to not even a week and a half ago, a week ago, almost exactly, uh, to go to this baby shower. And I knew it was just kind of like a sympathy, letting you know that there's a baby shower. <laughs> 700 miles away, but at the same time I'm going to surprise her which is why I haven't wanted to mention this in any of our videos because I'm so far behind on our videos that this video will go up actually the day that I'm leaving to come back home So I couldn't mention it in any of the other videos because she would have if there's a chance that she would have watched and found out I would have been heartbroken that my surprise was you know given away So I'm going down to surprise her that being said my precaution list is like high up I didn't even look for air fair until I called her husband. I called one of our good friends. I texted another good friend that's going to the shower. I found out where the shower is at. If it's outside, are people going to wear masks? My friend is just as cautious as me. She is has sanitizer in her pocket. She has masks washed every single day. She doesn't go out with customers. They own a car dealership, which is where we got our car. Every precaution she can do, she does it. And so I know that this baby shower with her friends, they know her and they know her level of carefulness, especially with her being pregnant. And that's what I've learned through all this little research that I've been doing over the past week. So I didn't even book the plane tickets until I made sure it was safe for me to go. And I'm going and staying with my sister in her spare bedroom, which has not been used. She's had the house completely redone. She had all the floors upstairs and downstairs redone during all this quarantine time frame. So literally no one has used the room that I'm going to use and I won't need to shower at her house because I I just showered last night and I'm traveling tomorrow morning to her house. And then I'm leaving the morning after I arrive at her house and taking her car for the weekend so that I'm not with anyone in the car. And then I'm going to stay at my parents' house in their basement. <laughs> alone by myself. I'll be able to see my mom from a distance. We'll be able to have meals on opposite ends of their 12 foot table. We have a large family, if you didn't know that. I have seven siblings. Um, it's a very large house and so there's a very easy way for me to distance myself from my parents. My mom is, um, hi mom, if you're watching, uh, we, uh, high risk. And I don't wanna put her in any risk from me traveling and coming to see her, but I want to see her. We are gonna be very, very careful. We're gonna wipe things down after I enter the room and be very cautious. I have these two things to do that I wanted to do and Jason knows that I wanna get my hair fixed. I have my hair appointment with my hairstylist. I'll wear the mask, face away from her obviously during a haircut, just like I would if I was getting my haircut here. Every precaution I'm going to take, I will. I, when I booked my plane ticket, I picked the seat in the very, very back of the plane and literally like 20 seats around me have not been occupied yet and I bought the tickets like five days ago. There's a lot of work that's been done to make me safe, make sure my parents are safe with me staying in their home, and my sister's safe, she's a teacher, and so I need to make sure I stay my distance from her because she's in classroom with students. Not only do I need to keep her safe so that she doesn't get her kids sick, but then she's kind of more exposed to life than I am. So I, she, I need to be safe from her. And that's just our world. That's just the reality and that's nothing personal for any of us. And we, luckily we're not, luckily none of us are taking it personally. We're not like, ooh, you have cooties and we can't be around you. We're just being responsible. So, ugh, that's just all the boring stuff. But I get to like go and see this one friend from a distance and, and take all my baby shower gifts that I want to take for her and I bought some more that remember when I went to Marshall's I bought more presents for her because now I don't have to mail them and this is a really long clip let me just tell you what I'm doing now okay so I have my purse here and and don't tell Jason a new bag I'm you know I didn't buy a new purse I just bought a new bag so what I recognized when we went to California it was a short trip not a whole lot of travel but I recognize that like while my purse is organized and you know there's not much in it it's just not big enough to like you know and then my camera can't go in it and like I have to take this out to put my camera in and then I have to take this and I have to anyway it's just the purse is not big enough to travel with and have enough open pockets to like deal with as I'm traveling. I got this bad boy. I have been looking for a good travel bag slash purse slash I don't want to feel like I'm carrying a suitcase. And this is kind of the best thing that I have found and I'm actually really excited to try and use it. It's got these two front pockets right here. This long pocket here is where I'm gonna put my wallet and then zip it up. This pocket here, I'll show you, is for my phone. And it's soft lined. And then this is a magnet close. So I don't have to worry about zippers. Literally like super easy pop it in there 
Then it's got the strap here. Then I bought this separate shoulder strap. It wasn't very much, it was like seven, eight dollars or something like that. They came with a gray one, but I wanted a little pop of color. I didn't like the other colors that this one came in. It was kind of too much for me. So I just got a fun little shoulder strap, which is super nice. But I think the biggest feature of this bag is this top compartment. So you can see there's zipper that goes all the way across, but then check this out. I mean, it opens, look how wide that is, you guys. Like seriously, let me put some things in it so I can show you like how easy this is gonna be to use. All right, so she's gonna keep working on her homework. I gotta keep her on track. Okay. All right, so let me just show you what I've got going on in this little bag of mine. It's obviously bigger than a purse, but you know, it's for travel. So I will transfer back to the purse as soon as I get home. So on the side pocket, I've got a smaller water bottle. I've got a smaller water bottle. Try that, saying that a couple times. On the side pocket, mine that I have, my big peach one, did not travel well. It's just too big and top heavy and it kept falling over on the plane. So I just have this one on the side pocket and I can have them fill it up for me when I get on the plane with some ice water. And then I might stick one of my silicone straws down in there because I like to drink with a straw instead but I also packed a straw, just like a regular old McDonald's straw, just in case. Um, then I can just put that in there and then close it up if I need to. All right, so then in the bottom pocket down here, it literally just barely fits my wallet, so I can cinch that, open that, and then get into my wallet. Super easy for ID. Then in this pocket here, I have my Clorox wipes that I can pull out and wipe down the seat, as well as my sanitizer, kind of my sanitation station right here. She's just listening to me. Get your homework done, the one that's assigned today, and then I'll show you what to do. This is mom life right here. And then I'll show you how to correct the ones that your teacher sent back, okay? And then in this pocket, literally all I have is chapstick. There is two little pockets here, but and they're magnetic as well, but I don't need them. And then my phone will go into this pocket right there. And then in the wide mouth, it's just gonna be, look at this. I can access everything. I can set it on the seat. I can have it between my feet on the floor. It's just so easy to use. I mean, look at this, you guys. Let me, let me show you. Just look at that. It just, it stays and it stays open and I have access to everything. This is just everything to me on a plane, whether I have kids with me or not. So I have my Pringles that can stand up and then I will buy my Coke um, and set that down in here as well and that can stand up or I can actually put it on my, in the other side, pocket on that side. But if I need to like be up and going on to different planes, I can set it inside the bag. They are not offering soda beverages on planes right now, so just water. And so I have to buy that in the airport. And then I have my external power source right here. So I can just take my um, cord and plug it right into this and then hit the power button and I can charge it. And I can actually just run the cord out and into my phone pocket right there and charge. Anyway, so there's that. And then this one has all my batteries and SD cards for my camera, easy to get to, as well as my charging for my camera batteries. And that just fits down in there. And normally if I were to take a laptop, I would put the laptop right in here and it would just, it's padded on that outside and, and it would work really, really well. But Kaylee's not letting me take Jason's old laptop because she's got it all set up for school. So I don't have a laptop to take, which is another reason why I'm trying to get ahead on these videos because I can't edit for the four days that I'm gone. <laughs> Or Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Yeah, I can't edit that whole time. So I'm trying to get a little bit ahead, a little bit ahead, to make sure that I don't come home and have you know a million videos to edit. Even though I know I will, I at least want you to have videos to watch while I'm editing, if that makes any sense. And then down here in the bottom, which I don't really need access to all the time, but I want to have it with me, is just my little ditty bag, and it just has my normal stuff and then I added a few extra things. So I've got an extra mask and I actually put my fan in there. I get super hot when I'm traveling, especially wearing masks. So I added my fan in there and some scrunchies and Tic Tacs and Kleenex. And then this is the most important. I ordered more Meclizine on Amazon. I have a whole hundred of tablets to take with me this time. I will be taking this right before I get on the plane so I don't get dizzy on the plane. And then if I have any chance of a vertigo instance coming back while I'm traveling again, <laughs> I will have this to at least use. And then the doctor that actually prescribed the other medicine for me is actually two doors away from my parents. So if I have a problem again, he can help me. So this bag just fits right down here where I don't have to have complete access to it all the time but it's there when I need it. And then I can have a Coke bottle and maybe even a water bottle. And then I have my snacks that can go in there 
I'm actually gonna put this one into like two smaller like Ziploc bags because I don't want all of them for the plane ride there, but I will coming home. So I'm just gonna divide it up. I have two flights there and two flights home. So I'm gonna divide these up, snack there and a snack for the way home. So I don't have to buy anything when I get to Utah. And then one of the extra features is that there's pockets here on the back side. There's one zipper pocket right here. I think actually get, that gives you access to your laptop. Nope, it doesn't. Just an extra pocket. This one right here, actually strong Velcro on that guy, but this is what can go over your carry-on handle. You can kind of slip that, that down through the handle and then this can attach to the handle bag as you're traveling through the airport, which is really nice. And another reason why my purse just doesn't work. It's just nicer when I can, if I'm needing my hands, especially when I'm filming with my camera, I need to be able to like either be hands-free with a shoulder strap or put this onto my suitcase so that I can film as I'm going. So I don't think I'll use this pocket right here but also these right here are shoulder straps. I can turn it into a backpack and then they just clip into these little clippers right down here and I can use it as a backpack. I think for this trip I won't need to, but when we go back to Hawaii next year, I definitely will because it'll just be easier to have it on my back as opposed to on my shoulder. It kind of bounces around more on my shoulder. That'll be nice to have just as a backup, but then if I don't need it, it just tucks away and you can't even tell that they're there. I need to go and help her with homework she has another call in a half hour. So we're saying take a break from the camera and get your homework done, okay? Yeah. But I gotta get packed up. All right, I am taking a carry-on. There's a gift bag for her baby gift. Tissues inside there as well. And see, this is why I wanted to, <laughs> I went a little crazy um, getting her some extra presents. This one is just a little floor mat. And then this is actually a box that is all wrapped up. It has like six different things in it. So I just, this is gonna be completely empty when I come home. Maybe I'll buy something when I get there and fill up that space, but probably not. This will probably just be a really empty carry-on when I get back. I do have my makeup bag here that I will put into there as well, but it is pretty compact. I just need to add my toothbrush and I think I have toothpaste. Travel size toothpaste. And this is my toothbrush holder. I don't think it'll fit in there. So, but it also doesn't have my toothbrush in it. So I just need to put that stuff in there. Okay, so I'm more ready than I thought. I have to do my makeup in the morning. I have to brush my teeth. So that stuff will kind of go in last minute. All right, I just took Kaylee up to hang out with a friend for two hours. Jason's gonna pick her up on his way home. It was our only agreement that she figure, figure that she finished her homework and was not going to stay, stay late because it is a school night. But I am taking out my bag on its first little maiden voyage. And uh, yeah, it's a really big bag. I won't be using it for like a purse by any means, but it's, you know, kind of handy. I am so tired. I was sitting at my desk. Oh, and also I changed shirts because I filmed another video. I did that embarrassing video, the embarrassing stories video. I need to change back out of this. I totally forgot because it's what I'm wearing tomorrow on the plane. <laughs> So I've had it on for like an hour, but I was filming or I was editing that video of the embarrassing stories video and I was just like starting to nod off and it was like three o'clock and I was like, I haven't had caffeine today <laughs> at all. Mm -mm. So I'm in line to get some caffeine and uh, it's interesting having all of my kids home and still being alone. Like I literally felt like kind of alone today. <laughs> They're literally all doing their own thing. At one point I was like, oh no, I'm 10 minutes late to tell them to get on their call, on their closing meeting call. And I came into the kitchen and Kaylee was like making herself some lunch and she's like, mom, they're on their calls. They just get on them. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's good that I've trained them and I'm keeping them on schedule and stuff with all their alarms, but yeah, we're all just kind of doing our own thing. In some ways it's good. In a lot of ways it's good. The kids understand their role. They understand their, not their role, they understand their responsibility for school. And Ashley's slowly realizing she has to ask for some screen time. She has to ask for what she now calls recess time if she still has homework. Um, and she barters with me. She's like, if. I give you 10 minutes of homework time, will you give me five minutes of recess time? <laughs> so they're figuring it out really, really well. I have to leave them to their own devices tomorrow for about six hours 
well, three hours of school, like two and a half hours of school while I'm headed to the airport tomorrow. Jason ended up having to work last minute tomorrow for one of our employees. I wouldn't have booked it had I known he was gonna be not off on a Friday, but I know that they'll be able to do good um, figuring out their classes in the afternoon. Kaylee and Abby are there. I mean, they can babysit, but it's like they're already on their own calls. And so I'll be in the plane. I won't, if, you know, they don't make their last Zoom calls. It is what it is. And it's Friday. So if Ashley doesn't completely finish her homework, it's not the end of the world. Jason can, can I work on, Jason can come home and work on it with her tomorrow night or Saturday or Sunday. I'm not terribly worried about it, but it, you know, it still worries me a little bit, but this afternoon really showed me that the kids know their structure and they know their routine and they can get it and do it by, by themselves. So I'm proud of them for adjusting their life. It's hard, you know, and I'm proud of my kids. They're really like working through this well. I wanna show you my car, you guys. Now, it has not rained. It did not rain like all summer. That right there is smoke, soot. That's it, that's all it is. Trying to find a spot where you can actually see it. I don't want to rub on it because I don't want to like scratch my car, but it's so gross. It's actually supposed to rain tomorrow. Actually, it's supposed to rain tonight at like 2 a.m. And then for on and off tomorrow. I wish Jason was home <laughs> and that he could take my car and just park it and leave it outside and let the rain wash some of this off. Maybe he can take it Saturday night and go get it washed for me after he gets off work. It's gross. All right, it is a go through leftovers kind of night. I've got ham and leftover potatoes that I am warming up here. And then I'm gonna add some egg to that and then have some strawberries. And Abby has said she wants to have like a little frozen, it's literally like an individual pizza. It's like the little Costco ones. Um, she's gonna have that. She had a salad about an hour ago. She was kind of feeling a little bit hungry then. And then Chelsea and Ashley clearly did not come home at 6 p.m. like I asked them to. I couldn't find them when I came home from dropping Kaylee off. Well, I did find their bikes. So they were jumping on someone's trampoline, which they shouldn't have been. Then Jason just got home and he couldn't find them. So they're kind of in trouble. So I'm gonna put the camera away tonight because they're just not coming in when they're supposed to. They're not looking at their watches. They're not paying attention to the time when they're out and about. They're doing good on schedule here at home, but they're not <laughs> when they're playing. So I'm gonna put this camera away, get ready to go out of town tomorrow. Pray no one dies while I'm gone. <laughs> they won't die, they just won't maybe be on time for their calls if they leave the house. It is supposed to rain tomorrow, so I'm kind of hoping that Chelsea and Ashley eat during lunch. And I will be able to make that call because I will be leaving right at their lunch time so that they don't miss their calls, you know, when they have to come back. So. That's my hope. But I'm gonna hurry and turn this off for when they get home. Oh, someone's calling me. See you guys later. Night.